26 on CT. I'll tell you what I'm basically doing here. I'm picking off cases that have already been read. These are ER cases. All of them have the history of right lower quadrant pain. I haven't looked at them before. These are all live cases. I'm just going to take them and show you exactly how it looked for an appendix in real life. Again, these cases have already been read. So basically starting off here, here's a contrast enhanced CT abdomen pelvis with intravenous contrast. And I'm just basically going ahead and scrolling down. This one had a history of right lower quadrant pain. And what's catching my eye is it looks like there's some possibly obstructed loops here. But on the point of looking for appendix, here it is. I'm basically looking on the right side of the abdomen. And I'm seeing in this right colon, this small structure here. I'm seeing this structure emanating off the right, uh, de low, lower right colon. And it comes over here to the right. And you can see it's air filled and fluid filled. And this is the appendix right here. And this appendix looks normal. Looks like the case, this case particularly, I'm not going to read it, but looks like it looks like a partial bowel obstruction here, and I'm seeing some loops here essentially. Okay, again, 17 year old male, right lower quadrant pain, concern for appendicitis. Scrolling down, looking on the right side, I can see here right colon, keep coming down. Okay, this looks like a positive case. So, right here, I'm seeing here's the colon. I can see this is the fibro fatty lips of the ileocecal valve. Come lower to that, and I'm just seeing here this tubular structure right here. Here's a nice cross section of a tubular structure, hyper enhancement along the periphery of this, fluid filling within it, and some straining of fat around it. And here I see it curling up, and the air is extending off the cecum right here. So it's extending off the cecum. It's not, you can see it's not filling with contrast, as so there's contrast in the, in the cecum. There's no contrast in the structure, and this is just a definitive appendicitis, nothing else to say. So fluid filled, not contrast opacified, hyper enhancement along the periphery, fat straining around it, extending from the cecum, which you can see right here. And here I also want to show you, these are the fibro fatty lips of the ileocecal valve. You can see fat here. You can see this structure invaginating. That's the ileocecal valve. So this is definitively the appendix. It's not filling with contrast. This is a definitive appendicitis, no questions asked. Here's another case, 41-year-old male, right lower quadrant pain. Scrolling down, I'm looking over here, looking for the appendix. Okay, again in this case, I'm sort of seeing there the cecum is low-lying. It's kind of in the pelvis. And on this slice, you can see there's some probable cecum over here, and there's some sigmoid colon here. I'm seeing a small air-filled structure here, which is looks like appendix. I'm going to show on the chrono to see it better. So here I'm zoomed in in the pelvis in the chrono plane. I'm going to identify the TI as a structure invaginating into the cecum. So here I can see the cecum. I see this other caliber structure here. This is a small bowel loop. It's coming into the cecum invaginating it. So that's the TI. So I'm going to look lower to that to find the uh, appendix. So. You know, right here, I'm seeing a tubular structure extending here. If you can see this tubular structure coming up, here it is again, a thin tubular structure filling with contrast, tubular, extending up, and kind of coming up here, it curls around and comes back down. You can see it there. And actually, sorry, it's extending here. You can see it extending here, coming up, and coming back down. So it's contrast filled. It's air filled here. You can see air within it. So this is a normal appendix. So there's no evidence for appendicitis. Okay, here's the last case. Uh, this 27-year-old female, right lower quadrant pain, coming coming down, scrolling down the abdomen. Okay. So I'm noticing she has kind of a shorter cecum here, and here's her sigmoid colon here curving around. She has kind of this cystic lesion here, which is probably an ovarian cyst. I can see her uterus right here. This is the uterine cavity. So here's her cecum. And I'm seeing a little, seeing a tiny tubular structure here, right there. So that's probably the appendix. I just want to uh, keep in mind, you know, definitely if you're seeing something in the axial and it's difficult to see, try coronal because a lot of times it just make it a lot easier. For example, in this case, this is very nice. I can see here very nicely. Here's the cecum. I hope you can appreciate that. This is the long axis of the cecum. 
you can see here this invagination of the ileum, this is the ileocecal valve. And as I go directly inferior to that, where the cecal base, I can see here nicely this thin tubular structure extending off the cecum, and it's air filled and it's contrast filled here, and it loops back down around, and this is definitely the appendix. This particular case looks like the, the distal aspect of the pen is a little bit thick walled, a little bit less contrast here. Here there's no contrast filling, it's a little bit occluded. Here there's contrast in air, but distally it's a little bit uh, more, more thick walled. And this one might be a, a, a tip appendicitis. I think you'd have to definitely question that in the setting of right old quadrant pain. This might be one you would get clinical and radiographic follow up. All right, well, that was the last case. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, basically, again, what I did is basically just pulled off some right lower quadrant pain cases that I hadn't seen and showed you how I look for it. And that should help you trying to find the appendix on your own. So once again, thank you for watching.